Next to take the stage is I Am Me, so let's check out what went down when Katy Perry challenged them to shake their tail feathers. In their last two performances, IME's giant visuals took center stage, but JC was looking for more. You just kind of have to think about covering the stage a little bit differently. Let's see what Katie has for us this week. What up, IME? Oh. Your crew got my song, Peacock. You have to fan out on stage like a peacock. I've never seen a peacock up close. A lot of us have never actually seen a peacock in person, so we decided to go out and look at some to try to get some inspiration. It's crazy how big they are when they found their feathers. Peacocks got swag. <laughs> We're having trouble with fanning out and using the stage, but still making it look like a peacock. We're gonna end up being center again for sure if we do this. We've already been told twice to use the stage, so we have to do it this time, because three strikes, you're out. Performing to a superstar master mix of Katy Perry's Peacock, here is I Am Me. All right. I totally saw the peacock the whole time. Little mama, what'd you think? You know what? This group always ceased to amaze me. I'm telling you, you guys came with a whole new style of dance. We saw a little Vogue, a little pop and lock, and you know, I, I love the way you guys work the stage, you know, with the diagonals, and JC been a little hard on you guys, so I see you started the performance stage left, and um, you guys bought it. You guys bought it. <laughs> Yeah, you know, asymmetrical. It's it's not the same every time. Uh, so I appreciate you guys got it. We just got a little asymmetrical here. Got a little asymmetrical here. It's just about presenting different looks. You guys got it. I'm not going to bug you about it anymore. I'm off your back about that. Okay. Now, your task was to, to get the peacock thing. And, and, and I want to get into one of them right now in the slow-mo where it's kind of like a pickup. You guys got the line going and everybody worked their way out one at a time. And that's essentially how... You know, a peacock does, it starts as a singular thing and it spreads out. So you guys uh, understood the imagery really well. I also like the fact that you danced in couples. Very, very smart to do. And uh, the, the only thing I will say is, you know, everything was moving along really nicely and then the end thing kind of got a little clunky because it moved a bit slow into that. Dietrich. I think you guys got such a hard challenge. I mean, to create a human peacock, you took Pac-Man and basically made him the main uh, body of a peacock, and then you guys created the wings behind it. I thought it was awesome and brilliant to be able to make that actually serious. It's brilliant that you guys could actually do that. Um, there, there's one thing I would really like to say about this crew, is that you, your guys' dance style is authentic. The popping technique that these guys are doing right now is seriously authentic. Congratulations to you guys on that. All right. If you thought I and me brought the swag, you can vote for them later on when I give you the info. Thank you, I and me. When we return, we'll reveal another saved crew and one crew that landed in the bottom two. The party is just getting started. This is Brady Jackson presents America's Best Dance Crew.